The MSU campus shooting has once again put gun laws, of course, in the Lansing spotlight. And among those pushing for change at the Capitol today, the father and sister of a girl killed in the Oxford High School shooting of 2021. Sean lay live with that very personal story, as well as what gun owners were saying there today. Sean. Absolutely. We're talking about the father and sister of Hannah St. Juliana killed in the Oxford school shooting back here at the Capitol today with emotional, strong words. It feels as though I haven't been able to take a breath, but how could I? I haven't heard Hannah's laugh or gone into her room without it being empty and dark in over a year. The sister and father of Hannah St. Juliana making an emotional plea today in front of state senators in Lansing as new gun control, gun safety and gun violence measures are being looked at in the wake of the MSU shooting. Why wasn't Oxford enough? Why aren't the kids who are killed every day from gun violence enough? Just weeks after his daughter's murder at Oxford, Steve St. Juliana came to the Capitol, he says, to beg for stronger gun laws, warning lawmakers then that more kids are going to be gunned down. Today, he's back. And I said, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when this is going to happen again, and it's going to touch you. Don't wait. Changes lawmakers believe may make a difference, secure storage of firearms, background checks, and red flag laws. Gun owners also in Lansing today supporting tougher gun laws. As I said, I own a lot of guns. I'm passionate about them. I love to shoot. We, we shoot a lot. And I've owned guns my whole life. But it comes down to this. So unless we want to continue to bury our children and grandchildren, we have to value their lives more than we value the guns. Speaking there is Mike Jackson. He's from Monroe, owns 20 guns. His granddaughter was on the MSU campus. She's a student here and texted him that there was an active shooter. So he was here in Lansing today as a gun owner saying these responsible gun laws, uh, beefing them up, makes sense to him. We are asking lawmakers, Devin, would any of these new laws being proposed or beefing up the laws, gun laws, would have helped in the MSU shooting lawmakers? Some of them pointing to the red flag laws, perhaps because the shooter did have an element of a mental hi health history. Uh, keep in mind, however, he was charged with a felony at one point that was amended down to a misdemeanor, allowing him to legally buy two guns used in that shooting. More debate to come. Yeah. Lawmakers encourage something can get done. Back to you. More really good questions. All right, Sean.